that enters antiphon. The souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who follow the footsteps of Christ. And since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exult in Christ forever. Good morning. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for Robert Bobby J. Colleen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Uh, today we celebrate, as was mentioned, St. Lawrence Ruiz and Companions. This was a group of martyrs, mostly Japanese, but St. Lawrence was a Filipino. He's the first Filipino to experience martyrdom during a terrible persecution by the Japanese emperor in the 1600s. But it did lead to a tremendous flowering of faith in the Philippines and also in Japan. Let us come before the Lord now to confess our sins and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Lord God, the same perseverance shown by your martyrs, St. Lawrence Ruiz and his companions, in serving you and their neighbor, since those persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has withstood him and remained unscathed. He removes the mountain before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crest of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer, or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right or right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due to me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song, let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will you shade, will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come upon you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness? Are your justice in the land of oblivion? Let my prayer come upon you, Lord. But I, O Lord, cry out to you, with my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O Lord, do you reject me? Why hide me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come upon you. Lord. 
I consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury the dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. I remember someone sending me a... Um, it was a... It was a comical thing, but it was an advertisement for a brand new Catholic church that had just opened. And uh, the carrots to get people to come in were, uh, in this particular church, uh, Sunday masses were 30 minutes or less. The homily was two to three minutes maximum and always entertaining. Uh, nobody was required to, there, there were no ministries that you were asked to join. There were no uh, collections at all. Everything was completely voluntary. Uh, it was just a whole list of things. It was All you could do was smile and chuckle as you read through the whole thing. Uh, and it, it's a reminder of uh, the great uh, Lutheran theologian, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who was hanged by the Germans at the age of 39 for verbally opposing the Nazi regime. They were very angry with him. And, uh, he wrote a book called The Cost of Discipleship. This is from the standpoint of a Lutheran Christian as opposed to a Catholic Christian. And he talked about the fact that people want uh, salvation without discipleship. They want a crown in heaven without a cross on earth. Uh, they want sacraments, uh, blessings of the church without confession and so forth. And he called the whole thing, there's, a, there's this desire for cheap grace. That's the great term that he used. And uh, we, we've kind of gone with that a bit. And the truth is, we, we do like cheap grace. We want the blessings of salvation, but not with any cost to it. Well, if you read today's gospel, it's pretty punchy. It says there is a cost. People who are following Jesus, he tells them flat out, you're not going to have any place to rest your head. We're going to be roaming nomads. You still want to be with me? And then other people say, well, I will want to follow you. And then Jesus tells them that they can't do their normal, routine, daily things. It's going to be different. It's going to be sacrificial. It'll be a lot to give up. And so that is the... That is the offer that, that the Lord makes to all of us. Job certainly found this out, that following God was going to have a lot of challenge and a lot of difficulty. Uh, I'll talk more about him as the week goes along. But the, uh, the gospel today is really clear that to follow Jesus is tough. And wouldn't we all agree with that? It's tough. You're going to get into disputes with family members and friends. You're not going to be well thought of in the secular world. You're going to be seen as an obstructionist, opposing modern times, opposing the secularism, and so forth. Um, so, of course, we know that many people through the years have had to experience even their own death, as today, as we celebrate St. Lawrence Ruiz and Companions. 
their, their attempt to follow Christ and be faithful cost them their lives. Um, so this idea of cheap grace is not a Christian concept. It's definitely not a Catholic concept. So to come into a church and see a picture of an almost naked man hanging on the cross should be a real wake-up call and this is not going to be easy. And this is not always going to be fun. But it's the truth and it's going to save us and we're going to experience the fullness of life and blessing in the next world plus a lot of great blessings in this present world. And that's the reason that we have to be willing to make the sacrifices that we make. This morning, when I got up at 4.30 a.m. in order to be ready to open the St. Joseph Hall for the men coming to that man is you, I was listening to that alarm clock going off and saying, I, I don't hear you do this this morning, Jesus. <laughs> But I did it, and I was rewarded because we had a great group of men this morning at our, our spiritual program. And it was a great video and some great discussion afterwards. And just a reminder, though, that it's not going to be easy, and they're going to be sacrifices. So God grant us the grace to accept that and to, uh, to accept the reality of what it means to follow you as your disciple and to put aside any silly thoughts that this can be done in some kind of a cheap way. We stand as we bring our prayers and needs to God, our Heavenly Father. That the church throughout the world may be sanctified through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That moral leaders may be empowered by the Holy Spirit in serving their people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the lonely and discouraged may be uplifted by the assurance of God's love and compassion for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and for the safety of the men and women of our armed forces and the first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For protection from storms during this hurricane season, and this morning especially for our neighbors in Florida in the eye of a uh, major storm heading to them, that through the intercession of our late Lady of Trump Sucker, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us not pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We additionally continue to pray for peace in Ukraine, for an end to war, violence, and racism our time, for a pro-life culture, and for our restoration of godly values in our world, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving God, please hear the prayers that we offer, which we make in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the Holy Martyrs, 
and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, but this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Lawrence Ruiz and companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by my teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So tonight we have uh, another one of our presentations and the uh, pivotal players of the Catholic faith. Uh, St. Augustine is the uh, featured focus tonight in the video. So those of you who ordered a uh, pre-ordered a meal, we had 91 people who ordered a meal. So that will be served at 6 p.m. in St. Joseph Hall. And the video begins at 635. For anybody who didn't order a meal, you're still welcome to come. We usually get about 30 extra people for all of the visits, and it is, it's fantastic. So we encourage you to come tonight to check it out. The Lord be with you. <laughs> May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Have a wonderful day. Thank you. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the road of souls.